like always I gotta plug the channel before I start so if you appreciate the content if you like my theming my writing of Linux in general you know DWM and a new distro here by the way that I've got please give a like and a sub because it will be extremely appreciated so I went on and I installed Debian and I was just you know I, I needed a distro that I could always use to sort of have as a, a backup or as a sort of safety net and I tried that with Manjaro but just always I, I just always have issues with Manjaro so uh, I went on the Pinebook Pro wiki and found the install instructions for Debian and they were really straightforward at least the uh, one of the uh, methods to install which was to build a netboot image so I went on and did that and uh, I've just been running around the OS testing things out and I'm really surprised by how stable it is and actually how optimized it is and I think that that goes to uh, the credit of Debian switching to the open source Mali uh, ARM GPU drivers because I was reading the Debian wiki just to find out how to configure my graphics card here and uh, their instructions are to no longer use the the closed source drivers or the previous ones and to use the newer open source ones and uh, when using the open source ones I get much better smoother video playback compositing so I'm really impressed by uh, the performance that I have right now and I'm reminded of of I guess the feeling of when I use Arch Linux in terms of like reliability you know and it's interesting because when I think about Linux I view Manjaro as being Ubuntu and I view Arch being like Debian where things just operate better on the original source you know why do I need to go to a derivative but you know that's just my opinion anybody can use whatever they want so anyway in this video I'll just quickly show how to create this netboot image so that you can install Debian and uh, just a side note I'm on bookworm here and uh, this is currently actually not the stable release but I think in about a month not too sure I need to double check that but I think very soon uh, this will now be the stable release and from my use it's been very stable uh, the only problem that I found was an issue where one of these buttons kept resetting over here but then I um, I don't know I, I think I might have locked the date and time or something and then the buttons stuck there but uh, I mean these two buttons really don't matter because in reality they're here but they're just a nice shortcut to have here but anyway and uh, yeah I chose to use uh, mate just because I have fond memories of mate this was the first desktop environment that I used when I was a kid when I came to Linux and uh, this is my fallback distro just in case you have a problem on uh, Arch Linux or something and I need to do something fast I just come here and uh, but yeah and, and it's also very good I mean to be honest Debian right now at least this rendition of it that I'm using is really solid so I think that this is where I mean this is where Debian gets its uh, renown right now you know it's being a solid distro and it definitely is feeling extremely solid and I just did the netboot image it was about 170 megs something like that and uh, it it ran on a very simple installer but this installer did everything you know configured everything partitioned um, it's definitely not the arch experience but if you want something that's stable and easy to go to Debian I think is a good choice it's definitely better than Ubuntu I think so anyway uh, the instructions that we get from the uh, Debian readme is that whenever we make this netboot image for arm we should take the firmware and then a small partition file combine them and then get an output file so I'll show an example doing the Pinebook Pro but 
this should work for all the other firmwares that they have listed in their daily images so um, let's just do an LS here GC okay so these are the two files that you would need so the first is the firmware for your device and I have the Pinebook Pro so I downloaded the Pinebook Pro and the second file that you need is the partition dot IMG and I'll link all these files in the uh, description and then you can download them to be uh, a little bit faster right so this is the command that we need and I'll quickly explain uh, so we do zcat to combine these files so we're taking the firmware the partition and then we're outputting it to this file in the Active Directory and um, just to make it a little bit more clear let's change it to that I had also made one earlier so yeah it'll take a few seconds here and then if we do an ls Okay, we can see uh, this is my old one that I had made previously and then this is the one that I just made here uh, after you do this uh, to install it you would obviously just take a USB drive and uh, either DD this or run etcher and you'd plug it into your device and boot and it's really nice the installer runs it's a very simple graphical interface uh, but it will configure everything for you even your desktop you get to pick uh, to be honest with you if I'm on an ARM device because it's so underpowered uh, well I mean I guess the older ARM devices I've seen some new uh, SBC's come out that are pretty impressive but at least on something like the Pinebook Pro I don't think you're gonna get anything really better than mate in terms of look and uh, fluidity you know just to get something that's pretty snappy right uh, I think that this might be the best that you can get really to be honest um, but yeah Debian's working great and I'm really glad that uh, I gave this distro a shot so as said before if you appreciate the content if you like my theming my wallpapers whatever you may find on my channel please give a like and a sub because it would be greatly appreciated and I really hope that you found this useful